Let's get started. Create a new composition. Go to composition, click new. Rename it main. For this I'm using HD composition. Frame per second is 25 and duration of this composition is 20 seconds. Click OK. Now worthy the alphabet A. For this I'm using Myanmar font bold. Align the text to the middle of the screen. Press T for opacity and change its value to 30. Now grab the pencil tool and add a line to the corner of A. Open the shape layer and delete the fill property. Now add a trim path to it. Click the stopwatch next to start and change its value to 100. Now move the timeline to 5 frames and change its value to 0. Open stroke property and change its line cap to round cap. Move the timeline to 0 frames and click the stopwatch next to stroke width to add a keyframe. Change its value to 8. Now move the timeline to 20 frames and change its value to 2. Rename the shape to out and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Move it down and rename it to in layer. Now move the timeline to 0 frames and click stopwatch next to end to add a keyframe. Move the timeline to 5 frames and change its value to 0. Now move the first keyframe to 1 frame. Now move the timeline to 0 seconds. And change the value of stroke width to 30. Now move the timeline to 5 frames and change its value to 10. Go to effects and presets and add a turbulence displace effect to this layer. Move the timeline to 2 frames and click the stopwatch next to amount to add a keyframe. Change its value to 0. Now move the timeline to 25 frames and changes its value to 100. Hold the ALT button and click the stopwatch next to offset, to add a script. Its time multiply by 0, 25. Again hold the ALT button and click the stopwatch next to evolution, to add a script. Its time multiply by 30. Now again to effects and presets and add a block dissolve effect to this layer. Move the timeline to 7 frames and click the stopwatch next to transition. Change its value to 0. Move the timeline to 35 frames and change its value to 100. Go to evolution option and change random seed to 180. Go to block dissolve and change block width and block height to 25 and feather to 50. Uncheck the soft edges. Now go to turbulence displace. And change size to 35. Duplicate this layer and adjust it for all the corners. Change the animation as per your style. Play with it, once you think if it is perfect. Now go to project and duplicate the main comp. Open the main 2 comp and select first layer. Delete both the effects. Open this layer and delete in content. Now press U in the layer to open the keyframes. Click the stopwatch next to stroke width and change its value to 30. Do this same process for all the layers. Now go to main composition and select all the shapes layers and write to pre-compose. Rename it to shapes 1. Move the A text above the shape composition. 
go to project and move the main 2 comp to the timeline. Go to track mat of text layer and select alpha mat for main 2 comp. Go to main 2 comp and hide the text layer. And adjust the other layer accordingly. Right click to the timeline and add adjustment layer. Move it under the text layer. Go to effects and presets and add glow effect to it. Change its glow radius to 14. Now duplicate the glow effect and change its glow radius to 58. Select the text layer and duplicate it. Now add a rectangle mask to this layer. Rotate this mask layer and move the mask down, under the text. Now move the timeline to 0 frames. Open the mask path and click the stopwatch next to mask path, to add a keyframe. Now move the timeline to 2 seconds and move the mask above the text. Go to effects and presets and add a rough and edges effect to the mask. Change edge sharpness to 4.5. Change scale to 800. Change evolution to minus 50 and go to mask and change mask feather to 50. Again add adjustment layer to the timeline. Change the track mat of duplicate text to none. Go to effects and presets and add a trap code star glow effect to the new adjustment layer. Go to color map and change preset to fire. Go to color map B and change its preset to aura. Change star glow opacity to 50. Move the timeline to 1 second. Now press T for both adjustment layer, to open opacity property. Move the timeline to 2 second. And change the value to 0. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.